conflict broke the story of how Congress ignored concerns over trade with China and pushed the RCEP in 2012. That we told you how money from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund and the Exchequer money was allegedly siphoned to the Gandhi Family Trust. Now, Republic has more proof of sensational Congress China link. 2004 document of Rajiv Gandhi Foundation shows that the RGF tied up with a Chinese lobbying group. Well, it all began with a secret pact that was signed between the Congress Party and the Communist Party of China in 2008, details of which haven't been spoken by the Congress Party as yet. Thereafter, more details essentially emerging. Republic Media Network has unearthed yet another link, trade links that we've been talking about. But the question is, why should there be trade links or discussion on trade by two political parties, that too on behalf of two sovereign nations. That in itself is a big question. Remember, through the day, there have already been reactions that have come in from Rahul Gandhi as well as Sodia Gandhi, including Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. But all this while, they've only raised question as far as governments handling the current standoff with China, but not a single word when it comes to their own personal dealings with the Communist Party. It doesn't just end there. There have been more documents which essentially talks about how Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, a foundation that is headed by Sodia Gandhi, was actually receiving funds from the Prime Minister's Relief Fund. That in itself, many would say, is a clear-cut case of uh, corruption. Let me bring in our editor, Niranjan, on, who's joining us on the phone line. Niranjan, this perhaps is a clear-cut case of corruption. But tell us a little bit more about the new links that have emerged that in itself raises some very uncomfortable questions for the Congress party. Well, Shavan, you know, uh, the entire links of, of the Congress party with China has, has been under, uh, you know, a serious, uh, you know, doubt, uh, given, uh, you know, the, the, the fact that the People's Republic of China uh, embassy had, uh, had uh, you know, made donations. Now we're getting in some more information. And this is from the Rajiv Gandhi uh, uh, you know, foundation website, and the website uh, you know also mentions mentions details of of how uh, this was uh, way back in uh, 2004 2005. They had they had a tie up. Now under the activities of the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, they have mentioned uh, uh, you know between years 2004 and 2006 they tied up also uh, between the Rajiv Gandhi Institute for Contemporary Studies or the RGICS and under their research activities. They have details of a series of research papers in international economic relations series, activities with the school. The China Association for Internationally Friendly Contact is the third mention on that particular, uh, you know, uh, website. This is the Rajiv Gandhi website, uh, you know, Rajiv Gandhi Foundation website itself. Now, what this also shows, and let me tell you a little bit about this group, the China Association for Internationally Friendly Contact. This group is a Chinese lobbying group. And the fact that the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation has mentioned it on its website uh, uh, is an admission of link with this particular group, which is the China Association for Internationally Friendly Contact. Uh, this is a lobbying group, essentially, that promotes the Communist Party of China and the PLA. It is a front for the uh, liaison department of the political work department of the Central Military Commission. You do a little bit of background check on it. And then there are several reports. Uh, some American uh, intelligence reports have also cited this particular group as... Uh, one that's active in overseas right. influence operations. Right.